All right, here we've got seven applications from Google, which many of you might not know they existed. The first one is Google One. Most of us use Gmail, Google Drive, Google Photos, on which we get 15 GB of free storage all put together. Now, if you are wondering how much of space is consumed by each of these services on your Gmail account, you can just tap the storage button on the app to see the storage status. As you can see, here is the breakup of my 15 GB free storage. Basically, this is a storage management app by Google, which offers premium services as well. One can become a member on this app to get benefits such as special access to Google photo editing features, Google Play credits, free trials on other Google services such as Stadia Pro and YouTube Premium. These come with additional storage options. When I tap on upgrade, it shows me the membership plans here. We have got three plans here, 100 GB storage at INR 130 per month, which is about $2. Uh, then we've got 200 GB and two TB options as well. We also get chat support on this app if you face any sort of issues. You can instantly get some help on the app itself. That's Google One for you. Now let's move to the second app. This is called Google Go. If you're looking for a best and efficient way to search the web, this is the app you must consider downloading. This is a very light application which can work even on slow network connections and shows the search results quickly. It's like an all-in-one search engine on which we have options to specifically search images or GIFs separately. We have voice search, camera translate, which will enable us to point the camera at a text and translate it to your desired language. We have discover page to know what's happening around the world, dedicated icons for YouTube and other applications. When you tap on these app icons, you can actually feel how quickly it opens the pages. It's better than opening the actual app on the phone itself. If you want to add more applications, we have a whole bunch of web apps here, which is just amazing. I'm sure you are going to love it. Download it and let me know what do you think about this app. Now, while you are loving these applications, which I'm showcasing here, a tap on the subscribe button would be much appreciated. That obviously motivates me to come up with more contents for you guys. Smash that right away. And yeah, that thumbs up button would also be a bonus for me. So do that as well. Now, the next one is Cormo Jobs. Yep, this app from Google helps us find a job. Just sign up, complete your profile, discover jobs nearby, apply for the jobs. That's very simple, isn't it? When you open the app, you get to see different categories such as BPO, IT support, delivery, cashier support, staff, sales, marketing, IT, healthcare, you name it, this app got it covered. Once you tap on a particular job, it will show you the job description with salary details as well. And this will show you curated jobs in your location from verified employers. That's pretty cool. Let's move to the next one. This is called Socratic. If you are a student or if you have kids who are studying, this app will be kind of useful to some extent. This learning app powered by Google's AI, which helps you understand your schoolwork at high school and university levels. The app can find the best online resources to learn the concepts. You can find video results and step-by-step -step explanations. All you need to do is point the camera on the paper which reads questions or concepts. The AI will search the relevant answers and explanations to those questions. Interesting, right? Let me know what you think about it. The next one is Chrome Canary. Google already offers Google Chrome as well as Chrome which is in beta as well. Here we have got another browser from Google which may not be available for all the devices. It is still an experimental app which Google says it's still unstable. Basically it is a light browser which is similar to Google Chrome and offers similar functionalities. At the same time, it saves a lot of data. So if you're on a metered network, you can use this version of the Chrome. When you open this menu, it shows how much of data it has saved in the last browsing session. These kind of light applications are very useful on budget devices. And if your data plans are expensive, or if you're running on a limited cellular data, this is the browser you should use. Now, the next one is Grasshoppers. This is an educational app which helps us learn coding for beginners. If you need some basic education on coding, or let's say you are curious to know how coding works and want to learn a bit of it, this app here helps us learn that. When you start, you can select whether you are a beginner or come with some experience. It will tell you what is coding and programming language. It'll ask you why do you want to learn coding and based on your requirement, it will start the classes. It's kind of fun to learn some basics here. Do go ahead and check it out and let me know what do you think about this learning app. The last app is of course, Google Lens. Who doesn't know Google Lens, right? But are you using it in your day-to-day -day life? You may not be, so I thought why not remind you guys about this amazing app which enables us to search things on the internet by just pointing the phone's camera at things. We can scan and translate text, identify plants and animals, 
explore places, scan codes, etc. Just keep this app in handy on your homepage. Use it whenever you need it. These are the seven applications from Google worth checking out. All the download links are in the description. Go ahead, download them and make sure to leave a comment and let me know which one you have been using from this bunch. While doing that, be sure to smash that subscribe and like button as well. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.